is the last operating wig rag signal in the entire state of Colorado. Now arriving into La Junta, Colorado. It's raining outside. Now arriving at Lamar, Colorado. Here's the uh, nighttime version of the roomette. You can see the uh, upper bunk has been pulled down. And the bottom seats have been folded together to form the uh, lower bunk. So it's just as simple as that. Only the bad thing is there isn't much space, only about a foot, between the bunks and the door. So it does make for a little bit of tight quarters if you have to change clothes or anything like that. Well, shortly we'll be crossing the border from Colorado into Kansas. And about time for me to shut down for the night. So this is Amtrak 4 is signing off for the night. And I will see you in the morning. Good night. Pleasant dreams. And good morning. It's now 6.25 in the morning on May 6th, Sunday. And we're approaching the outskirts of Kansas City, Kansas. We should be approaching... Uh, the uh, Argentine yard where we'll be stopping to uh, refill the train and uh, for a crew change. And now coming into uh, Argentine yard, Kansas City, Kansas. Just found out we're actually running about a half hour early. And now we're stopping at the fuel pad to take on fuel. junction here. It's the Union Pacific High Line. Good morning ladies and gentlemen. Our next station stop coming up here in just a couple minutes will be Kansas City. Kansas City. If this is your stop, please make sure you look around your seats and underneath your seats and around your seats. Make sure you have all the belongings that you came with and prepare to detrain at this time. Kansas City's coming right up. And there is the Argentine flyover. That was completed in 2003. Across 
replacing the BNSF Fort Scott subdivision. And crossing the border from Kansas into Missouri. Now arriving into Kansas City, Missouri. So we can take something right from this. How much is it from the station? From LA, it's $8. Yeah. And I think that's good. Now leaving Kansas City on time. It's like a Jewish cemetery here. I'm going through the East Bottoms neighborhood of uh, Kansas City. I'm passing over Rock Creek Junction, just uh, west of Independence. That's where the uh, River Runner will take the line to St. Louis. Alongside the Missouri River here. I'm overtaking an eastbound grain train here at Sibley, Missouri. And now crossing the Missouri River. Now going through Camden, Missouri. There's the distance to our next three stations. La Plata, Missouri, Fort Madison, Iowa, and Galesburg, Illinois. Menden, Missouri. Now 
now I'm going through Marceline, Missouri. Arriving at La Plata, Missouri. I'm now going through Bering, Missouri. Crossing the Des Moines River, crossing the border from Missouri into Iowa. Now arriving at Fort Madison, Iowa. Mississippi River. Okay, well, Riverboat Casino. Right there is the original Fort Madison.
now crossing the Mississippi River. Yep. It's a highway that's gonna go directly above us. It's a swing bridge here. I can swing open to allow river traffic to flow through. Now crossing the border from Iowa into Illinois. Iota, Illinois. Cameron, Illinois. Now going through Cameron Junction, we will swing off the old Santa Fe line over onto the Burlington line for the rest of the way into Chicago. Before this junction was built, this train continued all the way to Chicago on the Santa Fe line, serving Galesburg at a different station, and also the towns of Streeter and Joliet. Until service to those stations were discontinued in the early to mid-1990s.
for coming into Galesburg, Illinois. There's the major freight yard for the BNSF line. Now arriving Galesburg, Illinois. And now arriving at Princeton, Illinois. Okay. Still running on time. One more. Now going through Arlington, Illinois. Dota, Illinois. going through Earlville, Illinois. through Sandwich, Illinois. Lounge attendant to the IC, please. Lounge attendant to the IC. Laura to the IC. Laura to the IC. Thank you. through 
Plano, Illinois. Plano is also a stop for Amtrak's Illinois Zephyr and Carl Sandberg. Yes, that mural did indeed say, Welcome to Smallville. Plano was the filming location for the movie Man of Steel. There's the uh, caterpillar plant where various bulldozers, bulldozers and earth movers are made, produced here. through Montgomery, Illinois. There's the BNSF line that comes up from Savannah, Illinois, joining up with us. Crossing the Fox River. Now going through Aurora, Illinois. West End of BNSF Metro Transportation System. There's a Dinky Department Station right now for downtown Chicago. Passing BNSF Eola Yard, east of Aurora. As far as travel, 1,650 miles and moving time of 27 hours and 56 minutes. Now arriving at Naperville, Illinois. We're now going through Downers Grove, Illinois. I hear that bullying elevator gets a little furry sometimes. <laughs> now going through LaGrange, Illinois. Also a station stop for Amtrak's Carl Sandberg and the Illinois Zephyr. Passing over the Indiana Harbor Belt. Now going through Cicero, Illinois. That's uh, the BNSF Clyde Yard there. Station, thanks, and final station stop in less than 10 minutes. 
Canal Street wide to head up north into Union Station. Conductor, can you tell us what side of the train we're on offloading? What side are we offloading, Conductor Shea? The worst track work in the world right here. Amtrak train number four, the Southwest Chief, now arriving at Chicago Union Station.